holes in the investigation. It's completely wrong, completely wrong on every level. Now, I know my details got put out on Hunter versus Hunter. I know that that's where it went first. Thank you for all on you what sent it. Shane Brannigan, you are a disgrace. Janine Keller, Danny Snow, you are a disgrace. Chelsea Arwood, you are a disgrace. Three of you run that page and two of you proclaim to protect children. Shane Brannigan, you say you're in it for the children. You can't be in it for the children when you're doing what you are doing against people who's got children. Janine Keller, when you was in UK database as Danny Snow, when your address got outed by the trolls, it was me who rang you. It was Diana who rang you. And Mandy Palmer who sat on a live for hours talking to you because you wanted to pack up your home and your children. You wanted to take yourself and your children to safety because you were scared of Chelsea. We had the police because you needed the police. You also had an ambulance for your mental health state. Yet you're the one now putting people's addresses on a page. That's double standards. It's also been brought to my attention today that you're trying to join another team as a decoy. You are on every single trolling page. You are sat there slating the hunting community, but you want to join a team to be a decoy. Janine Keller, when was the last time you submitted as a decoy a chat log? When was the last time you did anything constructive in the community? When was the last time you sat crying down a phone and you was on other social media platforms to Diana, blubbering like a wreck, dropping your children off to school because you said that Chelsea Arwood had intimidated you and bullied you? We rung your partner, which is Nick Ken, to come to your aid to rescue you from yourself that evening. You was going to take your life and your partner refused to come and help you. He refused to get in his car and to come to you who was in the home on your own with small children. Is that really a man you once stood by your side? You could have committed suicide, yet it was the database what stood by you and Mandy Palmer. You was a blubbering mess. You really need to take a state, step back and really need to think what you have actually been doing to this community. Any team in this community who takes on Danny Snow, you are making yourself a risk. Because this is pathetic. There's no chat log from that decoy for a very, very, very long time. Yet she's still on a decoy platform. Come off your Danny Snow and get on your Janine Keller. Your name has been outed before. Your dress has been outed before. You need to sort yourself out. I won't have people out there Slating my name on a fake profile. If I've got anything to say, I say it on my own profile. I've not got no issues with that whatsoever. You've also started attacking the database. Certain people have. Keep going. It's going nowhere. You cannot discredit the database. You all keep saying the database. When you sat on your lives, distinguish the database. There is the dot com and there is the Facebook page. Some of you are oblivious to the dot com. The dot com is very, very, very different to the Facebook page. And it is very different in a lot of ways. At UK Database, we have very shit our admin who sleep very little. So when you're trolling on there, like you did all last night, and you have done in previous weeks, your comments are caught. By the time you're caught and you're banned, you're making new accounts, you're caught and you're banned. I don't know where you have the time 
to keep making these accounts to troll. If that's what you've got to do with your life, you need to evaluate because your life's going to be very short-lived. Just sitting at home and trolling and jumping on lives constantly is disgusting. I don't hide behind who I am. I am who I am. I'm not embarrassed about who I am. I'll never be embarrassed about who I am. I'm not embarrassed about where I come from. I'm not embarrassed about my path in life. And I'm not embarrassed about my future to come. I'll never be that person. Never. Will I ever step back from protecting children? No, I won't. You can put my name up. You can put my address up. You can put everything else you want up. Will it make me stop? No, it won't. Will I be ringing the police this evening? No, I won't. Will I be ringing an ambulance because I'm suicidal because somebody's got me address? No, I won't. I'm not interested. I've still been saving children. I've still been doing what I do. I'm still working with survivors. I've still got credibility. The credibility I hold is credibility I've earned by things what's proven their worth. I don't say I'm anything more than I am. I never proclaim to be anything more than I am. And if people ask me a question, I'm straight direct and I'll tell you exactly who I am. If you think that making a profile on me or anybody else, then you ought to be ashamed of yourself. There's also one out there today proclaiming to Belinda. How can that be Linda? You keep saying different things about this profile. That ain't the person I've met. That ain't the person who I've actually had conversations with, who I've actually seen. Come with something more credible. Come with something people can set that is factual. Because today there's been absolutely nothing what's been factual. So if you've got time to do that, then do it. Now let's get on to the part of Mike Barnes. Mike Barnes has left the community so it's been said you've seen his pages vanish through people are thinking because of the sting he did over the handcuffs that's not the reason why mike barton's page has vanished over the handcuffs at all the reason why mike barnes has took his facebook page down is because his team walked out of him through a shambles he was running and it left him just there now let me go into a bit about Mike Barnes because people seem to be claiming that they know certain things about Mike Barnes. This is truth and factual. Mike Barnes, I've known since he first came into this community, Mike Barnes, which is Paul Stephen Miller. He also came in this community by using pictures off of Google of a dead child. I'm sorry if I've just triggered anybody. I know there's survivors on here, but I have to say it as it is. It came to me attention and he admitted that these pictures were from a dead child, what he just got. So, he was infatuated by me. He wanted me. And he's put it across that way and I've got screenshots. And they will be going up over the next few days. Um, he wanted um, to date me, take me out for a meal and everything. But then he got a bit butthurt because, as everybody knows, I was actually talking to Bob Hope. Um, then there was the protest in Birmingham and Mike Barnes, people who was in Birmingham will actually vouch for this, Mike Barnes were very, very clingy. Wherever I went, Mike Barnes were by my side. Every time he went live, he put me on his live first. I didn't realise what he was doing. Um, he also took photographs of me in Birmingham without my knowledge and he was doing them where none of them are looking at the camera and he was sending them to Bob Hope it was also sending them to another person in this community. He also t 